working hard or hardly working. Sometimes you just can't escape a bad day at work. Just like these guys, who ended up ruining heavy equipment or making expensive mistakes while taking a shortcut. But hey, they didn't want their blunders to get on camera. Too bad for them they did. This driver, due to his rash driving, was almost a fish hero. But there was no water for them to escape to. As it is, he probably lost his job for wasting all those fish. <laughs> this airplane must have dreamt about flying high in the sky. But little did it know, it had fallen down even before its first flight. This accidental drop probably cost thousands for the crane and millions for the plane. A paint carrying truck was hit by a passing vehicle, spilling all its yellow guts all over the road. While the spillage itself is a literal mess, it's gonna cost a lot to repair the truck and replace all that paint. Life isn't always on your side, as it's shown in this clip. A grain mill collapsed randomly, unrolling tons of grain. But a simple accident takes a turn for the worse when it explodes on impact. We can only imagine the farmer's grief over this loss. There it goes. Imagine flagging for help after you crash your car, and your helper ends up dropping your car, damaging it even more than before. <laughs> Try explaining that to the insurance. Someone should tell this driver cow tipping is illegal, because holy cow, what a horrendous turn. Poor things. The only good thing is no one was in the vehicles. A car crash is horrible enough, but imagine the shock when this massive 18-wheeler slipped and fell right on top of one. I guess he was jealous and wanted some attention too. Which calculation was wrong that day? The man who was behind this overloading must be thinking this while searching for a new job. Opa, 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 oh! <laughs> Due to strong winds, three crane operators refused to operate this giant crane that day. But the engineer said they had to complete today's tasks. Here's what happened. Watch it, watch it! Shit! And this is what happens when you try to execute big things without any plan. I wonder whose bright idea it was to risk such an expensive machine on a job site like that. was a harsh turn. Imagine what would have happened if the biker did not slow down after realizing the truck's angle. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen until the client pays for it. I wonder if they get to charge double now for building the wall twice. Another truck driver who failed to notice that his truck was too big to fit, but only this time, Luck was in his favor. The archway was weaker than his truck, and therefore it broke apart and remained on the roof of the moving truck. For a moment, I thought Amazon was delivering new types of packages. <laughs> Humans are not always perfect. 
but these guys are. Take a look how perfectly they've ruined the whole working site. It seems like the instructions were unclear. Clearly that operator thought the car was supposed to be demolished too. Nope, that's not a yellow road. That's corn spread on the road due to rash driving of this semi's driver. I honestly thought this was a prank at first. I feel bad for the owner of the car, but it's hysterical how the crane operator just nopes on out of there. See, this is why forklifts require certification. Very few people can do this. And the way he destroyed that pool, I'm sure this dumb guy is not from those few. Take your time and work hard. That's what this crane operator doesn't believe in. So his hurry resulted in this disaster. But thankfully, no one got injured in this incident. Oh, that was a close one. His life met a flash before his eyes for a moment. It was his luck. Otherwise, that crane operator tried his best to hit him. This is what happens when you're so eager to come on field that you can't even wait to complete your training. Another truck driver who failed to see how his huge truck would do under an 11 foot 8 inch bridge until the upper roof was completely peeled off. Modern machinery makes it a lot easier for garbage men to work, but sometimes this tends to happen while beating. Now they'd have to get their hands dirty. With the tiny bulldozer being far more flexible, this guy started to play around with it until part of the very dirt that the dozer was holding up to balance fell on the driver. <laughs> oh my god! Even a forklift has limitations as to what and how much it can carry, which this worker learned the hard way. The fact that it was able to move a couple of inches is still shocking enough. This woman hilariously underestimated the force of a power washer and had a difficult time getting back up. <laughs> A passing car was hit by lightning, but don't worry, everyone inside was safe. Now while the experience was scary and the car survived without a scratch, it just shows why you shouldn't anger the God of Thunder. This is why you should never work when you're tired. This unsuspecting forklift driver fell asleep and crashed into the warehouse, which unleashed rows and rows of stored material and chaos. Another unfortunate forklift fail was captured on camera and shows how dangerous even the tiniest nudge can be. That driver was pretty lucky he had a roof on his head. This forklift driver toppled an entire warehouse when he reversed into one of the shelves. Watch how it all goes down, literally. Crashing your car is one thing, and driving it into the convenience store is another. This SUV driver is about to learn how much it costs to repair a car 
and pay damages to a store. If that's not the most expensive accident, I don't know what is. This poor painter went through five stages of grief in mere seconds. The man was inside a paint van when the driver hit the brakes, forcing the man to tumble into stored paint cans. And his reaction? Well, it's pretty funny. That's a toy rabbit, <laughs> It seems as if drivers are really underestimating a crane's size. This crane pulled into traffic with its hook flying in the air, which not only disturbed some electrical wire, but also crashed into nearby traffic lights. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Imagine losing not dozens, but hundreds of eggs simply because you weren't careful enough. And that too, during this price hike. Oh, he's never gonna financially recover from this. No high visibility vest, no helmets, and an idiotic way to handle concrete. These guys don't seem like professional construction workers. And this time, it was the manager's fault. At this moment, he knew that the wine rack had already been destroyed, and he's fighting a losing war. This is actually fire, not fireworks. We say this because these extreme fireworks displayed in Russia are actually from a pyrotechnic store catching fire. All right, we got a telescopic boom crane located on a separate barge, a sideways tandem lift, and lifting points located below the load. These mistakes led them to a serious disaster. Thankfully, no one got injured in this incident. Nine hundred liters of water for just one picture? Should we say good luck to them, or should we remind them of those people in Africa who would do anything for fresh water? I guess this firefighter had been a little bit confused about the target. That's why he soaked his fellow firefighters. It happens when you got a dumb guy with you on the field. If there was a fence, it'd keep the sign away from this tight group of cyclists who wouldn't have suffered the domino effect. Getting at a stampede of dozens of bicycles is no joke. A sign held by a spectator and the crash went all the way across the road. Oh, a huge crash at the side of the- This happened while putting a new clock on the bell tower of Purdue University. Now I gotta wonder, this university put a man on the moon, but it still can't put a clock on a clock tower? What's going on here? And this is how not to handle wine crates. It was bound to happen, as they were handling it like a bunch of bricks. I guess it's gonna be their last day at work, or they wouldn't be getting their salaries this month. Climbing in and around the ceiling always pans out as it seems. A female suspect attempted to get away from the authorities by passing through the ceiling, but failed to get away. This is why you only see those cool air duct spy scenes in movies. These firefighters literally had one job, put out the fire. But these trainees accidentally sprayed an already lit prop with fuel spreading flames rapidly despite several extinguishers. And it all happened because of a malfunction in the water source. Let's just be thankful it happened during a demo. Now, I'm not saying a workplace shouldn't have a play zone, but it certainly shouldn't be right where your computers are. This wholesome fun moment between a father and son turned sour when these massive balls took an unexpected trajectory. Come on, Phil, what you say, <laughs> oh! 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 This house came tumbling down. And no, a wolf didn't huff and puff and blow it all down. It just crumbled on its own. 
The poor construction workers who were working on the house just stood and stared in disbelief. Months worth of effort gone down the drain. The alarm box in old... What are you doing? Oh my god! Don't put... What have you done? This poor fella just spilled an entire tin of yellow paint and didn't notice until the last minute. Now, of course, it was an honest mistake, unless the man was trying to create the yellow brick road for Dorothy. Imagine spending a whole day under burning heat to create a smooth concrete surface, and then suddenly someone insanely spoils all your hard work. But here, I'd only blame those workers who, instead of stopping the crazy man, just stopped to watch their work get destroyed. I mean, their reaction is literally hilarious. Stop to watch their work get destroyed. I mean, their reaction is literally hilarious. If you're moving heavy furniture or large machinery upstairs, you should be using a dolly or at least get a strong cable. This refrigerator was too heavy for these two guys. Even after carrying it carefully, they couldn't make it to deliver safely and ended up like this. Now they have to lift it back up just like a coffin. Timber! Wait a second, that's not a tree, that's a windmill! Oh jeez, this windmill just uprooted like it decided to shift overnight. That's not gonna be an easy fix, or a cheap one for that matter. Let's hope the farmers were able to stick the windmill back up, and deeper this time. <laughs> Racking up by stacking them up in columns may seem like a great idea until something like this happens. If all were to have been thought through, the egg stack could have been properly secured. You should never skimp on the delivery, and this video shows you why. A gorgeous luxury car was being delivered, but the unloading was a bit too sudden. When the car slipped in reverse, it hit a Chevy, which crashed into another car. That's one expensive pileup. Oh! This video shows a controlled demolition of four towers. Only it didn't go as controlled as planned. The four towers were supposed to fall down in the same direction. But as the last tower tumbled, it took down a nearby scrub tower which wasn't supposed to be demolished. How unlucky. Imagine spending hundreds of bucks on a brand new refrigerator, only for the delivery men to drop it right outside the house. The delivery men are clearly distraught. Although this was a serious loss for the intended family, let's just hope the workers weren't punished too harshly. Here's a ridiculous moment when cartoon physics became reality. This unlucky delivery driver was almost done with his job when he tripped from an unbelievable barrier. The poor man couldn't believe this happened and was hilariously stumped. Yeah. Although it was a routine military transporting operation, this was not a routine failure. After comically rolling back to the road in the first two attempts, this military tank met up with a devastating end as it tragically toppled off the truck and landed on its side before finishing upside down. It's not always a good idea to carry too much stuff when you know that you have just two hands. This lady carrying a cake with other things in her hands accidentally dropped it and started screaming. But she didn't want to waste the yummy creamy topping, so she sat down to eat the frosting smeared on the ground with her fingers. Now, we have another guy who also thought that his hands would work like a loader, so we decided to carry all the packages at once. 
But his idea failed when a little knock from the roadside brought him to the ground, along with every single package. And this is why there should be balance everywhere, either your diet or machinery. Look how this huge crane lost balance and control while trying to carry a billboard. That didn't just damage the property, but also the machinery itself was totally destroyed. Here, a little mistake of this crane operator almost took the life of that worker standing in front. Thankfully, he jumped back within the nick of time. We've got another insane crane operator mishandling a costly sculpture. A little slip, and the expensive sculpt was beheaded. It's very important to set the crane properly, especially when you're lifting something really heavy and expensive. This crane operator, while elevating a barge carrying 2,000 liters of diesel, somehow lost its balance, resulting in a terrifying ending. The crane, the container, and the boat, all three sink on the shore. An unexpected malfunction of one of the machines at an aluminum profile factory caused a wildfire in a matter of seconds. The disaster could have been avoided had the machinery maintenance been up to date. This factory worker was curious as to how flammable this flammable foam is and decided to check it out for himself. To his surprise, he accidentally set the entire factory ablaze. What else did you expect? Really? This dump truck driver learned his lesson the hard way when the carrier of this truck smashed into a freeway sign, resulting in it being completely obliterated. <laughs> Storing goods in a warehouse might seem like the best of ideas until something like this happens. Clearly, someone wasn't paying attention to his job. Driving a semi-truck requires experience and patience to avoid this from happening. The truck driver was attempting to take a turn, but safety barriers got in the way. He decided to accelerate anyway until the wheels in the back came off. Dozens of crates full of beer that somehow were left unsecured fell off a container truck as it took a sharp turn. Leaving it all stacked up and untied was like calling for the inevitable. A tanker truck carrying chocolate in liquid state overturned on a highway in Poland, resulting in six lanes covered with a sugary sludge. Had the driver been more careful, no one would have ever guessed that there was such a thing as a tanker full of chocolate. A dash cam caught this horrifying moment when a high-speed car carrier crashed into a truck. The truck had slowed down on time, but the car carrier ignored it. Wow, that looked expensive. If you've seen Final Destination, you'll get why this truck is scary. But things take an unfortunate turn when the truck pivots. Maybe the trees were taking their revenge. Well, the semi before might have pushed through, but this one isn't getting out easily. Just getting the vehicle out is gonna require a lot of manpower and take hours. See, signs exist for a reason. I can't believe this happened, dude. Can't believe this guy hit the bridge, bro. In Elizabeth, damn. Did they want the tree to jump through the house? I wonder why they had tied a rope on this side. But anyway, the contractor better have some deep pockets to pay the homeowner for this blunder. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, another phobia added to the list. 
from now on, let's all try to stay away from under construction buildings, just in case these guys happen to be working there. Glad that no one got injured. The cables are getting almost maxed out up there. While buying glass windows for buildings, they buy two or three extra pieces as a backup. But if you have such dumb workers that you need to buy double stock, how's your business gonna turn a profit? This young man tried to demolish an old building and escaped in the nick of time. He should have left the job to the Looney Tunes' as Taz. <laughs> nope, this isn't the robot apocalypse. This long bar stock crazily whips after losing its support. And thankfully, it didn't hurt anyone. But something like this easily could have. There's a reason every overpass has a height limit. But it seems this semi-truck driver ignored it completely and stubbornly carried on. Driving away was a mistake because the semi is completely smushed between the road and the overpass. That sign's there for a reason, fellas. A mother-son duo had just set off separately after a meetup when the mom crashed her car into the son's bike, who'd stopped at an intersection. Well, at least there won't be a fuss about compensation. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Jacob. Just like a homing missile, this tire is coming for its enemy. I love how the person gets back in the car like, eh, it's not the worst thing that's happened to me. Covered thousands of miles just to do this. It happens when you hand over your container vessel to a truck driver because of his experience of handling the containers. Wow. What a way to park. UPS surely has the best drivers in the world. He literally put down the half load of the tree. Pushing half a ton of bricks is a mistake that anyone can do. But then smashing up the eaves through and siding with a second push really cemented the fact that they are idiots. Look at this. Going I know. A pilot while taking off somehow missed a huge ground vehicle in the way until the wing was struck off. The entire point of taking clearance for takeoff is to avoid something like this from happening. The uh, local pilot in the Yak 3. Right from, oh, he's just, that's not looking good. What could go wrong moving a slab full of bricks with an excavator? These men probably thought they'd come across a smart solution, but instead allowed a heap load of bricks to come crashing down. <laughs> Some jobs just need an extra set of hands, even if you're a professional. The construction worker was balancing part of a ceiling on his head, and as if that wasn't difficult enough, he attempted to fix it on his own. Come on, of course that was bound to go wrong. This is what happens when you try to lift more than your capacity. It's not a big deal to lift an oil container with that big crane, but it seems like the company didn't spend enough on its maintenance and repair. Imagine crashing your vehicle into an electrical post and shutting down half the town's electricity. Luckily, this driver had minor injuries, but we can't say anything about the big fat rescue bill that he racked up.
What a waste that was. I think the driver had pushed the wrong button. If not, he still had a really bad day at work. Don't ever lie in your CV just to get a job. Otherwise, it might result in this. Such idiots make even simple work difficult. After watching this dumb operator on work, I've just come to know that even large companies make bad choices. <laughs> this picture was taken three years back in Florida, when approximately 15 to 25 gallon buckets of white paint shifted and fell from an open flatbed trailer. The buckets were insecurely placed on the open flatbed, which caused white paint to spill onto the inside travel lane, center lane, and also inside the paved shoulder. The lanes were closed to traffic as environmental crews worked to clean up the spill. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.